What's going on? How are you guys today? It is Christmas week down at Frankie's Free Range Meat. And against my wishes last week saying, hey, you guys probably shouldn't order this week with the holiday shipping. You guys did order a lot and were quite busy. So I hope there is some divine being with UPS this week. Otherwise, I have little faith in the orders arriving on time. So it's almost 2 p.m. and my guys stop at 3. So we're almost done for the day. We got two pallets of orders here for the meat company and there's another pallet in here. We got all of the post office orders for the other businesses. Frankie's Free Range Foods, Organ Supplements, Frankie's Naturals, Wi-Fi Shielding. This is a couple days worth because one of my workers has been slacking. Speaking of the dehydrator, last week you guys were saying, hey Frank, I'm glad things are going better. I'm glad nothing negative has happened. Well, that's not exactly the truth. I just decided not to mention it last week, which is why the vlog was unusually short. And Con Edison finished their investigation and to no surprise, they found nothing wrong and they sent me the three <laughs> It was actually funny because the email they sent me, we have concluded your investigation. Now please pay your $3,300 a month electric bill. So we're gonna probably get involved with some legal stuff with Con Edison and against my better judgment, I'm assuming Con Edison is a multi-billion dollar company and suing them is only gonna dig the dish deeper and deeper, but hey, maybe we can uh, delay paying the ridiculous electric bill because I think everyone gets screwed around by Con Edison. And since we have been using the deli slicer for the jerky now, I gotta show you guys this. It's like a beef potato chip. It's, it's crazy, crazy paper thin. So you can actually, you know, see the light through it. And when you bite this, it, it literally just flakes apart in your mouth. Very, very delicious. So we got the beef jerky available on frankiesforeangefoods.com. We got quite a bit of it, guys. We have the two new water kefir flavors that I mentioned last week. The ginger lime as well as the apple lemon. Both are in stock right now. And we're out of the plain kefir. I'm not sure when we're going to have that back. Everything else is in stock. We have the, all the fats, the wagyu beef towel, the regular beef towel, the pork lard, the lamb fat. Post office is here to pick up just in time. Thankfully this week, there's some sort of construction on this street, so the whole street was shut down. Usually, we have this mechanic across the street from us, so they basically use the entire street as a parking lot, and we've been having problems with them uh, blocking my business, but I don't feel like getting shanked by 15 Hispanic guys, so I try not to bother them too much. Although it is an issue because all of my delivery drivers keep complaining about having to wait five, 10 minutes for them to move the car, so you can't win. You gotta get out of this shithole. So my guys were super busy last week. We didn't have time to package up the marrow bones yet, but we did cut one as a sample. So this is how the femur marrow bones are gonna be packaged. I'm not too sure about the knuckle bones yet because they're so heavy and they cost a lot to ship. I'll show you guys how these came in. When we cut these, you get two femur bones in the middle and the two knuckle bones on the end. So as you can imagine, you know, a cow only has four femur bones in it, you don't really get that much bone marrow out of each cow, only maybe four to five pounds of marrow bones in general for like a 1,000 pound animal. So we should have those marrow bones in stock by the end of the week. The knuckle bones, maybe as well. Let me know if you guys actually wanna buy those. I think we gotta charge at least six or seven dollars per pound. You know, that's a product that's nicer to have when you, know, you have a kitchen to make broth, soup, stock, sell it locally because, I mean, you shouldn't be charging more than four or five dollars a pound for knuckle bones, but that's what it costs per pound to ship to California. So we might have an issue with that. We also have 100% grass fed organic suet fat in stock. It's gonna be packaged in three pounds like this, very nice. We have this in stock right now. And something I've been trying to get for a while is ground venison in smaller packages, which we finally have. So instead of the five pound ground venison, you guys can buy the one pound and it's a little more expensive, $12 a pound, but no one else is really selling venison online. We do have a couple more of the, the five pound packages left if you guys still wanna try those out. But uh, I mean, th this freezer is completely full. We got way too much meat in here, mainly because of that large order of the marrow bones and the beef fat that we had come in. So hopefully we can clean this up a little bit, but we'll see. E everything can stock for the most part, guys. The only stuff we're missing is a few things that you guys don't really order that much, like uh, the lamb ribs and maybe a couple different cheeses. But 
Uh, if you guys do want to place an order this week, that should be completely fine. I'm going to wait until next week to do more promotions. I kind of want to see if the holiday stuff dies down a little bit. So maybe the second or third week of January, we'll start pushing some stuff. We might do a jerky and pemmican giveaway one week. That might be uh, for like orders over $200 because you know the jerky is $15, the pemmican is $5. So to give away $20 worth of product with every order, I have a feeling if I did it on a every order and if there wasn't like a price cap, I might, we might have a problem, might have too many orders, but we'll see. That being said, because of that, we still have the ground bison. You get one pound of bison free with every order. I think that's it for the freezer. So sometimes you guys only order the beef tallow on the meat website and you guys end up paying a bit too much for shipping. So the problem is we have the free perishable product, the bison, but you guys are only buying non-perishable tallow. So what I have to do is I have to refund the difference in your shipping costs and then send you pemmican for free instead of the bison. So you guys can go to frankiestrangefoods.com if you just want to buy the non-perishable stuff, the beef fat, the pork lard, the lamb fat. I know a lot of you guys don't actually know I have that website, but it's, it's linked on the meat website. I've said it several times. You guys can see it all down below. So what I'm saying is if you guys only buy beef tallow on frankiestrangemeat.com, you're not going to get free bison with the order. You're going to get something like pemmican or jerky because we just can't ship one pound of bison with all that ice. It's not going to get there cold. Got a ton more Mountain Valley water in for the water kefir. And I'm not going to do too much of a rundown today, guys, of the organ supplement stuff and the Wi-Fi shielding and Frankie's Naturals. What I will say is uh, either next week or the week after, I'm just going to kind of give you guys an update on all of the businesses because I do have new customers, you know, every week. So some of them are not aware of all of the businesses I have. And it's evident because on some videos, I'll see comments of people asking like, where can I get a natural deodorant or, or where can I get this or where can I get that? And I actually sell it on my website. So I do want people to be aware of everything. So we'll do that, as I said, next week or the week after. So normally the mechanical have four cars out here when technically I'm supposed to have my parking spot in the front and the loading dock for when UPS comes. But re really the only time that I need this unblocked is when I have deliveries or if it's like Monday at 3 p.m. when UPS has to come get the packages. But you know, if, if they just have the cars there one time and I'm getting, you know, a, a giant 18 wheel delivery, it's too much of a pain in the ass. So legally speaking, uh, you can have the cars towed and ticketed, but it's too much of a pain in the ass. But I'm saying that because if you guys ever purchase a business, never buy one by a mechanic shop because you will never have parking. It's just, they have 15, 20 cars broken on the street every week, uh, but um, just complete nightmare. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me today. You can check out frank com to see all of my businesses, including Frankie's Free Range Meat. Outside of that, please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again for joining me, guys. Check out frank com and I'll see you for tomorrow.